What is going on guys, Joe here. Now I recently put up a video on how to do a bootable OS X Mavericks USB flash drive so you can install it on your Mac computer or computers, whatever you have sitting around your house. Now in this video I'll be showing you how to do a fresh slash clean install on your Mac using that USB flash drive that we did in the last video. Um, now I like doing this at least once or twice a year because sometimes I have a lot of useless files sitting on my computer from the past couple months or something like that and I just like to get rid of them but instead of searching throughout my computer I simply erase my whole hard drive and start fresh so that's what I'll be showing you how to do today now before doing this I like to back up my files using Time Machine or if it is just a few select files that I know I'll definitely need I back those up individually to an external hard drive so before doing anything be sure to back up your files now once you are finished backing up whatever files you need will simply plug in our bootable flash drive that we created in my past video and now what you need to do is reboot your Mac and when that is booting back up when you hear that famous Apple chime we will need to hold down the alt slash option key and you'll be prompted with the boot screen where you will select the drive you want to boot from now I'll be selecting of course the Mavericks USB flash drive that we made and then select that and now we're prompted with the utility screen where we'll select the disk utilities here we'll go ahead and select the hard drive which is in my case named Macintosh HD most likely yours will be named that as well now we also notice at the bottom how much of the capacity we have available and also the use space and all that good stuff from your hard drive or SSD whatever you're using now we'll go up top and select the erase tab and Make sure the format is set to Mac OS Extended Journaled and go ahead and name it Macintosh HD and then we'll select Erase. Once that is completed we'll exit out of this window and select Install OS 10. And we'll need to make sure of course to select Macintosh HD which is what we just erased and then we'll hit Install. Now we'll prepare the install and reboot itself in a few minutes but the actual install after it does reboot will take about half an hour or so so just let it do its thing and once the install is fully completed we'll be prompted with the welcome screen and we are actually done so it is very simple to do now you'll go ahead and configure your Mac and all that good stuff type in your Apple ID and if you do want to recover some of your files from your time machine you can do that while you are setting up your Mac but you successfully clean installed Mavericks onto your Mac now you will notice the new wallpaper and the new maps and iBooks app so that's how you actually know that Mavericks is on there or you can just go ahead and select the Apple go to about um, software or whatnot and then you'll see 10.9 but other than that that is how you do a fresh slash clean install of OS 10 Mavericks on your Mac as I said before this is a great way to get rid of all of your junk on your computer or maybe your Mac is running a bit slower than normal than when you first got it you can do this and have basically a brand new Mac running Mavericks. But as always, go ahead and hit that like button if you did like this video. Not only helps me, but it supports the channel as well. And if you're not following me on any of my social networks like Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus, or Instagram, links will be all down below in the description. And if you feel like being awesome and you still haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and do so so you won't miss any of my future videos on future products that I review and future tutorials, things like this. Uh, and yeah, that's going to be it for this video, guys. Let me know in the comment section below what you would like to see in my next video or maybe would you like to see a what's on my Mac video because I haven't done one of those in a while. So let me know in the comment section below what you like to see. But other than that, that's going to be it. Thanks a lot for watching and I will catch you all in the next one. Alright?